Hello my lovely Pisces, I hope whenever you're watching this you are having a great day today. My name is Rachel and welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. This is for all Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising. Please take the energy that resonates, if it doesn't resonate then please leave it where it is. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe and the notification bell and it will notify you every single time I upload a video. Okay, Angel Spirit guys, what message do we have for our lovely Pisces this week? What message do we have for our lovely Pisces? Okay. Right, so the message for you this week, Pisces, is don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? First of all, why are we dimming our light? To be able to fit into people that we don't particularly like. Okay, you not being who you are means that you are pushing yourself further away from the from your destiny, from your purpose, from the reason why you're here. You were put here to be exactly who you are and not be somebody else's idea of who you should be. If, the per if there's people in this world that can't see you for you, that don't like you for you, then that's absolutely okay. You do not need people to like you. Don't need people to like you. Because if you're your true self, if you are just shining bright, of, of just being who you want to be, in any way you want to be, you will start attracting the people to you that will want to be in your life and will accept you for who you are. So stop trying to fit in with the crowd because that's pretty boring to do that and just be exactly as you are. And if you don't know who that is, that's amazing. And do you know why that's amazing? Because now you get to go and find out. You don't have to go and do a load of research and a load of quizzes to figure out who you are. You need to go and explore and try new things to figure out what you like and what you don't like. And on that journey, you'll figure out who you are. And then by figuring out who you are, you'll figure out the reason why you're here. High Priestess. Like I just said, I was talking as the card fell out. If you don't know who you are, go and explore. Because really, you do know who you are. You know who you are. You've just lost a way. Okay. All right, there we go. Wow, okay. So the first thing you got was uh, the High Priestess. And this High Priestess came out when I was talking about, you know, finding who you are. And who you are is already deep within you. You already know who you are. It's just where you've been trying to fit in with the crowd, you've lost sight of it. That's it. You've just lost sight of who you are because you're trying to fit in with the crowd. So Pisces, what you need to do is to literally go within Go and explore, go on, on adventures, go and do things that you've not normally done to figure out what it is that you like. But one of the things you need to do is go and sit with yourself and start asking yourself questions. And not, oh, but so-and-so thinks that I should be like that. Or my mum or my dad think I should be like that. Screw them, they don't matter. What matters is what do you want to be and who do you want to be? So imagine it as you as a five-year-old you. And who is the person that you wish you had that you could look up to? And if you had someone that you could look up to, then what qualities of them do you want to take into your life? And that's just a place to start because you've also got the Ace of Cups here. The Ace of Cups is a new beginning and I feel that's what you need is a new beginning. Like all this trying to fit in with the crowd is bloody exhausting, isn't it? It's bloody hard work. And I feel like you just need a new beginning, a fresh new start. When you do that, your emotions, your cup is going to be overfilling. When you start being who you are, when you stop dimming your light and start shining brightly, you, your cup's going to be overflowing with emotions. People are going to be drawn to you. You are going to be able to uh, do so much more with your life and with others. 
but you need to just be you. And then you've got the Hierophant card. So you could be having a spiritual awakening, about to have one, or you're in the middle of a spiritual awaken, awakening. I feel that you need to do things the way that you want to do it. The, the Hierophant is a very traditional um, traditional card. It likes its rules. It's like its structure. Um, it likes to know what it should and shouldn't be doing. And I feel that you are a little bit like that. And that's why you've been fitting in because you feel like that's the way it should be done. That's the way that things should be done. Now, we're in the year 2022. So traditionally, probably isn't the way things are supposed to be done these days. But they are, they also, the Hierophant card likes rules. So why are you listening to the rules of other people when you can make up your own? Because it's your life. So you can make up your own rules. So what rules do you want in your life that you can abide by? Make up your own rules. That doesn't mean break the law. <laughs> don't, don't go stealing nothing or hurting no one. Don't break the law, but you can with the rules. You can make them up yourself. On the bottom of the deck, we've got the lover's card. Now, I feel that you have a choice to make. The lover's card means choice. You have a choice. You can stay where you are and continue to try and fit in with this group of people that you're with that you probably don't even like. You think are a bunch of idiots and it's not the life that you really want. Or you can step away from it and start working on you and start following a path that you want to follow. Even if you've got to follow it on your own to start with, people will join you. The lover's card for me is also giving me the energy that even though you are making a choice, I feel like by you stepping into your own light, by you stop dimming to fit in, stop following the crowd and following your own path, that's when you're going to meet someone because you're more attractive and not like beauty, you're, you're beautiful anyway, but when you shine bright, you're more noticeable. When you start acting as you, people notice you and then that's when you're going to find love. That's when you're going to find the person you're supposed to be with. Okay, so angel spirit guides. What else do our lovely Pisces need to know, please? What else do our lovely Pisces need to know, please? Ace of Swords. Okay. And the Knight of Wands. Oh, and that one there. Oh! <gasps> And the world card as well. And on the bottom of the deck, you've got the moon card. So the Ace of Swords is about um, expansion. You're starting to expand your circles. You're starting to expand your life. You're starting to get a bit more mental clarity of what really is real and what's fake. Um, I feel that with the Ace of Swords, the energy that I'm getting is you are expanding as a person and you're realising that the life that you're living is not actually going to help you expand into bigger and better things for your life and expand you to way towards the life that you want to lead. I feel with the place that you're in now, you can see where your life is going to head. You can see where your life is going to end up if you continue to stay in this path that you're on now, if you don't make the choice to move, where if you move and start shining your light and start being who you really are, your life is going to start expanding in ways that you can imagine. You've also got the Knight of Wands here. The Knight of Wands um, it's a very passionate and energetic card. So I feel this is what you are going to do. Once you get this expansion, you're going to start having these bursts of energy because you feel alive again. You feel excited about what the day is going to bring and you don't feel like, oh, I have to make sure this is perfect and I have to make sure that and I have to watch myself constantly because I'll just get ridiculed by someone. So, you know, I feel that you have to um, you're going to find lots of energy and lots of passion just in yourself to be able to have more get up and go. I also feel with the energy of this card, you're going to start going on a big adventure. I feel like some of you could be traveling somewhere, you could be going somewhere, uh, maybe taking um, a year off traveling different places, 
or some of you could be getting a job where you have to travel. I'm not sure. Just an just a, an I something that's come to me. I feel with the Knight of Wands, this is your time to start taking some action towards the goals that you want to take. But I do feel there's a massive adventure coming on with you. And then we have the world card. So you could be traveling, doing like a, a traveling in the world or or taking a year out to travel around a particular country or something. Um, but the world means that you're going to finally feel free. Like once you start stepping into your own and start being you and start shining your own light and not following the crowd, that's when you're going to feel this freedom that and um, fulfillment that you've ne not felt before. Um, you're finally going to start feeling like you can accomplish anything you want to do. But I feel that there is um, a bit of travel, maybe some traveling for some of you. Then you've got the moon card here as well. The moon card is about, again, making the choice. What choice do you want to make? Do you want to stay where you are and have this life which you know where it's leading? Or do you want to go and take this massive jump and see where your life could go? I mean, if someone come to you now and said, well, this is going to be your life for the next 30 years. This is what it's going to be. Or we can go and do this and this will be your life. This is amazing, adventurous, um, fun-filled, happy life. Or you can be here with, you know, not the life that you really want to lead. And just feeling sad and miserable and always wondering what could have been. And I feel... Um, I've done a mistake. I thought this was the world card, but it's not. This is the wheel card. Oh, how stupid of me. I'm so sorry about that. The wheel card. The wheel card is about karma and luck and change. I'm so sorry about that. I thought it was the world. I don't know what came over me then. But with the wheel card, things are going to change for you. Things are going to change. They're going to start turning because you start being who you are. Once you start being who you are, things start to turn. I'm so sorry about that. But things do start to turn once you start being who you are. And turn in a good way, like not in a bad way. It's going to turn in a good way. And then you've got the moon card. So like I was saying, the moon is using your intuition and making that choice. Stay where you are or, or move on to greater things. And that means leaving things behind. But sometimes we need to leave things behind for our own, for, for us. And it's okay to put yourself first. You need to see what's real and what's not. Like where you are now, is that real? Or is it just a bunch of people that are scared and it's just all fake? Use your intuition to guide you along the right path for you. Okay, I will get it right this time in this deck. So, angel spirit guys, what else do our Pisces need to know, please? What else do our Pisces need to know, please? Show me the card I need to see. Oh, okay. Okay, we've got the Six of Swords and we've got the Temperance. And we've got the seven of pentacles or seven of coins. On the bottom of the deck, we've got the two of pentacles or the two of coins. Okay, so the six of swords is about you transitioning. It's about you moving away from something and into something else. You've had enough. You've had enough swords put in you. You've had enough shit thrown at you. It's time to start moving away onto greater things. You've got your family, you put your swords in and you're sailing off into the distance and leaving behind what you need to leave behind to be able to move forward. Then we've got the temperance card. Temperance is all about having balance. So when you move away from something, you start just being you, it's going to feel very off balance to start with and you need to get your feet on the ground, you need to balance yourself and have patience with yourself too. When we go for a whole new change, it doesn't automatically just fit. We need to adjust our lifestyle, adjust ourselves and rebalance ourselves again. And this is something that you need to do. You're gonna to need to rebalance yourself once you move away from something. Then you've got the seven of coins or the seven of pentacles and you have grown. This is a massive growth for you. You are stepping up into the person you are. Now it's time to, like, as you're sailing away from all this crap and as you're balancing yourself, one thing you're going to need to do is to sit and you're going to have to look back on everything that's been going on 
And as you can see, she's looking at her pentacles on that tree and she's taking off what no longer serves her and she's putting on the things that are. So it's time for you to sit back, look at your tree and think, what do I need to take off now that isn't going to help me progress as a person in the rest of my life, in my next chapter of my journey? What is not going to be able to serve me or bring me the success and the love and the peace that I need? Whatever that is, you take it off, you put it on the floor and you leave it there as you walk through the door. So when you walk through the door, you can put the new things on. You then got the two of coins. And the first thing I want to say, I was just talking about walking through a door and there she is walking through a door. The two of coins or two of pentacles is again about rebalancing yourself. You know, I feel that for a lot of you, you're just like, I'm done with this. And even though it's going to hurt people, I need to take care of me. I'm walking away. And when you walk away, it is going to be scary. You are going to be knocked off your feet a few times, but keep getting back up. Keep balancing yourself. Um, you'll get stronger each time you do it because the more you do it, the better your life is going to be because your life is going to be amazing. OK, before we wrap this up, let's get some a message from our angels. So ask the angels a question, anything about the cards on the table or anything else. And we'll ask them for an answer. If you're not sure of your question, hit pause now. Angel spirit guides, what's the answer to the question of Pisces seek, please? What's the answer? That's too many. What's the answer to the question that Pisces are asking, please? Okay. Perfect timing. Everything is going to come to you at perfect timing. Or right now is the perfect time for you to make a decision and for you to jump. You've also got to communicate clearly. So when people are asking you what the hell's going on or whatever it may be, make sure that you're communicating that information very clearly, very simply, so they can understand it and digest it and it will stop a lot of conflict happening. That's all I've got for you today, my lovely Pisces. Thank you for spending this time with me. I really do appreciate it. If anything resonated with you, then please do drop it in the comment box below. I read and reply to all my comments as I love to connect with you. Don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe and the notification bell and it will notify you every single time I upload a video. I do them daily, weekly, monthly and the zodiac signs every weekend and yours comes out every Sunday at 10am. It will also really help me grow my channel, which is something I'm trying really hard to do to help others in their time of need, just like Tarot helped me. I hope whenever you're watching this, you are having a great day today and enjoy the rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.